Hi again, Meredy here. 12 days of Christmas, day number three is what we're on right now. And let me show you what you're gonna need to put together this layout. You are gonna need some gold mist or gold paint and water, like watered down paint to make gold mist. This metallic green acrylic paint came in the essentials kit. You're gonna need a red ink pad, the blue, or I'm sorry, the Burma Jade ink pad that came in your um, Limitless kit, a blending tool for those, and the uh, some kind of white ink or white paint. Um, it could be a white paint pen or ink, or white pen, something white. Um, okay. So we got those things. I'm gonna kind of push them off to the side. Then you're going, so that's the mixed media type of things that you need. You're gonna need this Oh What Fun cut that was available in the store. You're going to need your stickers that came in the essentials kit. We're only gonna use one of these stickers, but we're gonna use the sticker nonetheless. You're gonna need this tag. It looks like this in the back. It came from the paper that we cut apart. You're gonna need this scrap that you tore off in our last uh, last layout, you tore this off. You're gonna need this green branding strip. You're gonna need this piece. You're gonna need the packaging from your 49 and Market uh, Christmas Spectacular Ephemera, just the packaging from it. This came in the oh, What Fun Limitless kit. You're, the following ephemera, you're gonna need oh, one four by six photo, which I've got. That's gonna represent my photo. From the ephemera, from this ephemera pack, you're gonna need these three snowflake um, ephemera pieces. Uh, from the wooden embellishments, you're gonna need the Holly Trio one. You're gonna need the candy cane. Let's see. Uh, you're gonna need a sheet of white paper from your stash. We're gonna use this sheet that all we've cut apart so far is this, but we're gonna use a bunch of these right now and this piece of paper. So let's start with cutting down what we need, what we know that we're gonna cut down. We're gonna start tearing this down one side to expose the white core. Don't throw this away. I can't remember if we use it or not. Don't throw it away. Um, don't throw anything away unless I tell you to throw it away because I use a lot of scraps. So now that you've got the white core exposed, we're going to cut about a half of an inch off of the other side, the side opposite of where you tore. So you've got this piece with the white core exposed and then you've got a little, about a half inch strip. Okay, from this cut apart, you're going to go ahead and cut out this one right here. Actually, we can just cut all three of the bottom ones off, but we're gonna use this one right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that separated. We don't use these on this page. Then you're gonna use all six of these Santas, if you make yours like mine. Now, you don't have to use the six Santas. If you wanna use a combination of uh, you can we're gonna use this later so you can set off that off the side if you would prefer you can use six different squares on here if you didn't want to use all the Santas on this layout so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and cut them all apart so that they're all ready for us when we need them but I'm gonna pull the six Santas and keep them and I'm gonna put the other things off to the side because we'll use them on other layouts. So I'm gonna cut this strip and I will be right back. Okay, then we've got this paper right here and we're just going to cut two or three inches off of the bottom. Cut three inches and we're gonna use this on another page so that can go off to the side. And then this um, packaging, do you see how it folds right there? We're gonna cut off the fold. Okay, so just that little strip right there. And I'm gonna actually trim off where it folds too. So that folded piece is trash. That little piece was trash, but save this for another layout. Okie doke. I think we've got all the little pieces that we need. Now we can sort of lay things out where they're gonna go. So this paper that you cut, you're gonna go ahead and tear 
to expose the white core. So just tear down one side. Okay, and this piece I'm tearing off, guys, don't throw it away. Just keep it off to the side. We might use it again. I cannot remember right now. So this is going to go right here. This branding strip, you can go ahead and cut off the, um, save this piece. You could go ahead and cut off that. Then this is going to layer up underneath here. This one is going to layer underneath on this side. So it looks like that snowflake paper is going all the way across, but really it's not. And then the Santas. You're going to put the Santas in whatever order or whatever you use here. Maybe you didn't use the Santas. Whatever order you'd like down the side of your page. And to add a little interest to this, I popped some of these Santas up on foam tape when I adhered them down. I popped this one, this one, and this one up on foam tape to give them a little dimension. But I left this one, this one, and this one flat on the back. So we're gonna go ahead and adhere all of these things down, not this yet. We're gonna go ahead and adhere all of this down and I will go off camera and do that and I will be right back. Alrighty guys, so this is the last piece that I'm adhering down for this part. And then we're gonna work with a little bit of mixed media on the next, the next step. Hold on, let me get this placed here. And actually we can go ahead and cut this in half and we'll put half of it up here and half of it down there just so it's adhered down. It's going to appear that this strip goes from the top to the bottom of the page, but really it's not going to because there's a picture right here covering up this middle piece. But I like to use all the scraps, the branding strips, everything when I'm working from a kit and with limited supplies like like that so the picture will cover this up eventually so what's going to happen next is let's kind of take these things that we have here the picture this is our picture now i didn't want this red to be in the bottom so i flipped this upside down so it technically is upside down but you can't really read it i mean it's just peeking out so and then I wanted this here. And then I am gonna have to trim a little bit. I think that, I feel like that's sticking up a little bit too high. So I just trim a little bit. And we can go ahead and adhere these things to each other so that that way this whole little block is just one piece that we're picking up and moving around and we're not moving multiple pieces over and over. And this tag is gonna stick out like that. But I'm not adhering this to the back of the layout yet. I am just adhering these things together because I'm gonna use some mixed media on the back of the layout, but I just want these things. Oop, I got a little tape hanging over there. And then this little piece that we tore from the last layout, I just, for some reason do not like the way that little white bit of paper peeks out there i don't like it i think it's supposed to look like it's torn but it doesn't to me i just don't like that look so i trim that off and then stick this under there like that okay so now we've got like a whole thing that we can just lift up lift up and back and down. And we're gonna grab a paintbrush and I'm gonna grab my gold mist. Now, if you don't have gold mist, you can use gold acrylic paint and water it down with quite a bit of water to make it the consistency of mist, which is very thin. Okay, I'm gonna move the picture, but I know it goes right there. And I'm gonna take this gold mist and first I'm going to dip my paintbrush in it and just kind of paint a little, almost like watercoloring the back. And all the places that I want it to be. I just want it to be around there. And I want to do a little bit at the bottom here. They got a little much. And you don't want to mess with this too much 
because the more you mess with it, it's gonna start making the paper pill and get bumpy. So try to make it quick and simple, okay? I'm gonna set this off to the side to dry for a minute before I show you the rest that we're gonna do with the gold mist because I want this to dry all the way before we do more. So I'll set that to the side and we're gonna work with this Oh What Fun title next. So for this Oh What Fun title, we're gonna use a piece of scratch paper and I'm gonna use a makeup wedge to get some paint on here. Um, and here's the ink pad. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ink all the letters up with the ink pad because it's very dark green. And you can leave your title inked up in this dark green if you want, especially if it matches. I'll show you how it looks. And I'm not worried that a little bit of white is showing through here at all. If you would rather use like a blending tool to do this part, because you don't want to put your ink pad to the paper like this, you can use a blending tool. But I just think this is easy and it gets pretty good coverage. And like I said, I'm not worried about a little bit of white showing on this because of what we're gonna do in the next step. But let me show you how this looks. Just the, like this on the page. So if, if you didn't wanna go any further, this still matches, okay? But I wanted it a little brighter green, so I took our metallic green paint that comes in the essentials kit, put a little bit down, got this little makeup brush tool, and I'm just gonna blot it on the top. Just not super thick, because I don't wanna cover up all the dark green. Like, the reason that I'm even using the dark green underneath is because this is like a little too bright like that. So it's perfect like this. I hope, I think you can see the difference between what's happening right here on the background paper where it's just this paint on white paper, it's a little just too bright green. So I loved the way it looked with almost like, it reminds me of faux painting back in the 90s with the dark green behind it and then this light green little wash on top. So let's see. Um. If you didn't want to do this green, you could obviously color these words any color that you want. But um, you could leave them white, but it won't pop off the back ground paper very well if you leave them white. Okay, I think that's about done. I'm gonna set this to dry. But see, like it's a little too bright like that, a little too dark that, so when you mix it together, this is what you get. So I'm gonna let that dry now, and we'll go back to the um, mist. Okay, so this is pretty dry. Now we can do the final step on this, which is just um, adding splatters. But if you add the splatters while the paint is wet, the paint like in this part, it soaks the splatters in and then you can't see the splatters. So just add a few splatters, just like that. And then we're gonna have to set this off to the side to dry for a few minutes. So while we're waiting for that gold mist to dry, I'm gonna put some foam tape on the back of this title. And you're just gonna have to cut super thin pieces of the tape to use on the back of the title. And I am not gonna cut a whole bunch right now because that's not very exciting to watch, but you get the idea that and I, on my actual layout, I pretty much covered the whole back of the word with foam tape. So I even had to cut tiny little pieces um, to put all over the whole back. But again, I'm just gonna put a couple for the sake of this video. So your title can pop up on foam tape. And then I am gonna grab this it's not totally dry yet oh I know what we can do next this is what we'll do let's take um, our little um, candy cane and start working on that so the easiest thing to do on this is get miniature tiny little brushes okay and you're only gonna peel off 
the paper of the colors that you want. So I'm gonna start by peeling off everything that I want to be white. Okay, so I'm gonna just peel off the stripes that I want white. I'm gonna grab this scratch paper to stick them back on. Okay, and then, um, So peel off what you want to show what to what you want to be painted white first. And then we're going to go in here using white ink. And um color this. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here with the white ink and I'm using a white ink pad, but you can use white acrylic paint. You just put it on very thinly or a white uh, pen marker. Okay, and I'm just coloring the white. It doesn't matter if I go over on the lines because everything else is still masked off so you could be as messy as you want on this part right here it's the next parts where you can't be messy so next we're going to peel off what we want to be red now this is a little trickier because when you're coloring these pieces red you cannot you have to be coloring the lines very carefully because you just um, otherwise it will go over on the white. So if you want, you can use a red marker, even a permanent marker might work. And a permanent marker can have a pretty thin, um, nib, but I'm just going to go ahead and use this little brush. So, and you're just going to carefully only get the red parts. And then the last color we're gonna get on here is all the greenery. So peel off everything else. And then we'll take this dark green and gently, and again, I'm being careful not to go over the red or the white with this but just color in the green parts. And then at the very, very end, after you get all of this green colored in, there is a little thin outline to this whole thing. And you can go ahead and peel off the thin outline so that the whole little embellishment has an outline to it that's not colored at all. It's just gonna be wood colored. All right, and then we've got our little embellishment colored. So now we can go ahead and start adhering things down. I know my page is still a little wet with splatters, so I'm just gonna very carefully adhere things down. And I'm gonna make sure not to turn anything upside down on there and pick up paint splatters. So this whole block can go right about there and then your oh what fun title is going to kind of overlap and then I'm gonna adhere some of these little guys before I put the title down just because they go underneath like that and like that Oop. and this little one goes right in here okay this guy I just kind of overlapped on my picture and I like to use Eileen's tacky glue for this embellishment because it's made of wood and I feel like Eileen's tacky glue works really well with porous materials like wood and fabric and lace so I'm gonna go ahead and use tacky glue I can get the whole back off. The back is masked too. So 
so I'll get all that masking off. And get this down right about there. And I will adhere this title. And then you can add journaling on here. Um, we are gonna put one more sticker from this from the foam sticker sheet on here in just a second after I get this title down. But you can add journaling to lots of different places on here. Eventually, I will probably add my journaling down here or like right in this area because there's some open spaces there that look like they could be great for journaling. Okay, so. A what fun title. It's gonna go right about there. Okay. And then the foam sticker sheet is what I used full of cheer. This one right here. And I put it right there. And if you have some twine, you can string it through your um, tag. Other than that, this layout is done, and I hope that you'll share. If you do this layout, come share it on our Not Just For Boys Kit Cub community Facebook page. Um, we'd love to see what you made with it, okay? Bye, guys.